let us define what is complex number. So, the definition of complex number it says let us denote at complex number z is equals to a it is of the form a plus iota b okay. for all a and b are real number. So any number z if I can be expressed in the form a plus i b where a and b belongs to real number okay then this number is called complex number okay this part okay this part is called real part what is real part real part means it is free from i okay and this part is called imaginary part ima Zinary part means the, those real number which are associating with i is called what imaginary part. Let us say an example for example if I have z1 is equal to 2 minus 3 i. Now what is real part? Real of we can we can say real of z1 real part is what 2 and imaginary of z1 is what minus c you have to take with minus we have to take with sign okay therefore imaginary part of z1 is equal to what minus 3 what about this if i have z2 equals to minus 4i okay minus, only minus 4i then what is real part and what is imaginary part okay so any remember what is complex number it is of the form a plus ib but here this can be written as this can be written as 0 minus 4i can i write yes because 0 minus 4i is same as minus 4i okay therefore here real part is what real part of z2 is come 0 and imaginary part of z2 equals to what minus 4 okay. now let us take some more examples so that we can have a clear idea. So, let z1 equals to uh, 1 plus 2i and z2 equals to 2 minus 3i then find find let us see z1 plus 2z1 plus z2 number 2 z1 upon z2 number 3 z1 whole square number 4 3 z2 minus z1 now it is given that z1 equals to this and z2 equals to this then let us find out this now first is what first is that we have 2 z1 plus z2 okay here 2 z1 plus z2 is equals to twice what is z1 here we have 1 plus 2i plus z2 means you substitute this value we have 2 minus 3i okay it is same operation this is the same operation what we did before also this into this and this into this this is same as 2 plus 4 2 to the 4i plus 2 minus 3i now here okay now here you have to add and subtract with respect to real part real part as well as imaginary part imaginary part okay now here you have what real part this and this so you can add this to real part 2 plus 2 is what 4 and here you have imagining imaginary part over here okay here so 4 minus 3 is what 4 minus 3 is or, or you can do one thing 4 minus 3 is what 1 so plus 1 into i or you can say 4 plus i or otherwise what you can do is otherwise what you can do is 2 plus 2 is 4 plus you can take i common if you take i common here you will have 4 minus 3 that is this okay now addition okay now first one is over what about second now here z1 upon z2 here z1 is what we have 
1 plus 2i upon 2 minus 3i. Okay. Remember in the complex number we have conjugates. Okay. Conjugates means what? For example, if you have z1 is this. Okay. Now z1 is this, then if z equals to a plus i b, then conjugate of z or z bar is same as a minus i b. Okay. Means conjugate means what? You have to change the imaginary part sign. If it is plus, then minus. If it is minus, then plus. Okay. So, while dividing this complex number, normally what you used to do is the denominators conjugates we used to multiply up and down. Why? Because I can get real part in the denominator. Okay. Meaning, now if I do here 2 plus 3i numerator and num denominator. Okay. If I multiply, then what I will get is here I am a minus b into a plus b. Remember, a minus b into a plus b is what? a minus b into a plus b become a square minus b square. So, I will get 2 square and then here I will get i square. Okay. So, i square is what? Minus 1. So, I will get the real part. Therefore, what I have to do is for division algorithm, division of complex number, you have to multiply denominators conjugate. Okay, if it is minus 2 minus 3i, then you have to multiply denominator, denom you have to multiply denominator and numerator by its plus. Okay. So, e is equals to for numerator, it is same. So, here 1 plus 2i into 2 plus 3i upon here a minus b into a plus b is here 2 square minus 3i the whole square is equals to what? 1 into whole this means 1 into 2 plus 3i plus 2i into 2 plus 3i upon 2 to the 4 minus i square 3i the whole square is this square is for 3 also i also. So, we will have 3 3 is a 9 into i square. Here we have 2 plus 3i plus 2 to the 4 for i and then plus 2 3 is a 6 i into i become i square upon here 4 minus i square is minus 1 iota i square is minus 1 so minus minus plus 9 therefore what I am doing is over here why I am multiplying its conjugate so that I can get real real number over here okay. so 4 plus 9 become a real number so this is same as here i square is minus 1 so this is minus 6 right so minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 and then 4 and then plus 4 plus 3 is 7 7 i upon here 9 plus 4 is what 13 so i can divide this upon this this upon this minus 4 upon 13 mm. plus i into 7 upon 13 okay so this is real part and this is the imaginary part therefore this division is performed like this division of complex number next is what z1 the whole square means what z1 is this we need to square this one so 3 z1 whole square or you can say cube okay if it is cube then you have to apply cube rule if it is square then you have to apply square rule this is what 1 plus 2i whole square remember we have a plus b whole square is a square plus twice a b plus b square if it is given 3 then what we have to do is a plus b the whole cube we have to apply okay so this is same as a square means 1 square plus twice 1 into 2i plus 2i whole square this same as 1 plus 2 to the 4 i plus this square is what 2 also i is equal this square is for 2 also i also 2 to the 4 for i square so 
4 i square i square is what minus 1 therefore we have minus 4 minus 4 plus 1 is what minus 3 plus 4 i therefore this is the real part and this is the imaginary part now subtraction property now 4 4 is what 3 z2 minus z1 3 into what is z2 z2 is we have 2 minus 3 i minus z1 3 now 3 into z1 is what 1 plus 2 i 3 to the 6 minus what will get 3 to the 9 9 i 9 i here minus 1 if i send inside this will be minus 2 i 6 minus 1 is what we have minus 5 6 minus 1 is 5 here minus 9 minus 2 is 11 minus 11 i okay so this is the answer so what we have we have 5 is real part as well as minus 11 is what imaginary part.